Well, I've just returned from India where I came face to face with an African tribe that lives deep in the heart of an Indian forest. Come with me into the world of the cities who live in abject poverty, shunned and almost forgotten. My search for these Africans, probably Kenyans, started right here in Nairobi, Kenya. After waiting patiently for three months for my visa to be processed, we finally leave for India in search of a community that Indians do not like to talk much about. Our first stop is Hyderabad, southern India. Well, this is a busy street in Hyderabad town, Indian people moving from one point to another, moving goods as well from one point to another. But about 800 kilometers deep in the jungle in southern India lives a community, a community known as the Sidi. The Sidi people, it is believed, were brought here during the slave trade and have since made India their second home. It's a long self-drive from Hyderabad, further south to Karnataka, where the Sidis have lived for centuries. Although the roads are in remarkable conditions, it's certainly a long drive. Day meets night, and it's well over 20 hours now, and counting. With temperatures soaring as high as 42 degrees Celsius, we are forced to adapt literally, occasionally stopping by the roadside for a bite. Eventually, we arrive at Halial town. Because of wildlife roaming the forests at night, the village is usually asleep by 7 p.m. The following morning, we continue with our journey to the little Africa in India. And not before long. A place where old and new ways meet. Our first encounter with the cities. We encounter more cities as we make our entry into the forests. School children on their way to school. We are now deep in the forest and eventually arrive at Gadoli, one of the villages that hosts the CD community. Wow, these guys look like us, man. No, these people no, are no, This guy has got dreadlocks. Huh? Look at this man, the village headman. What about this lady? She could be anywhere in Kenya. This young man could also be plowing his fields in any corner of Kenya. How do you to, to, to let me from Africa? Because they have to see our people and your people. Yeah. What about this gentleman? What about this lady holding her baby? And Maggie, a city mother of one in her early 20s? <laughs> Sisi, I'm Kenyan, like African. African. Mm -hmm. We have no doubt these people are Africans, possibly Kenyans. This one, this one looks like my brother. <laughs> this one just looks like... Yeah. Some people look like them. Exactly, yes. Tomorrow, in this series, The African Tribe in India will tell you how the cities have gone against all odds to preserve their African traditions throughout generations tucked in remote villages in India 
almost forgotten. Tomboya Sunday Live.